Every single day that passes, I'm asked about solutions. Money GPS, what are the solutions to the problem? What can I do? They're asking for financial advice in many cases. Essentially, what the average person is asking for is when do I buy stocks? When do I sell stocks? Give me examples of stocks I should buy today, and so on. I look at it on a completely different level. The way that investing is, according to me, has nothing to do with the asset itself. Itself. Instead, we need to look at it from a more broad view. We need to zoom out. And I will look at this here as I've discussed in my first book in particular, but I really got a lot of this from Robert Kiyosaki in my studies many years ago. I've read many of Kiyosaki's books and that has really set a foundation for what I talked about in my first book towards the end. When we are looking at the different assets, suddenly we start to get a bigger picture picture as to what do we really want here? What are we trying to achieve? If we are simply going for maximum growth, that's one thing altogether. But if we're trying to preserve wealth, if we're trying to actually make passive income, we need to approach this from a different angle. When people buy into stocks, I personally believe that they are going for maximum appreciation. They are not trying to get dividends in many cases. That happens to be just something on the sidelines. They're just a side benefit of some sort. But I look at it completely differently. And I wanted to just go into what the so-called rich people around the world, what they are doing. Because if you look at what Warren Buffett is up to today, he hasn't been doing much purchasing with Berkshire Hathaway. They have essentially stayed out of this entire resurgence that has happened with the stock market. So that begs the question, are people like Gundlach and Buffett Buffett and Grantham and others wrong, or are they looking at other information? I'm just going to move through a few of these here just to get the point home. This happens to be Zuckerberg. He bought a lot of land in Kauai, Hawaii. He's not the only one you can see in this case here. This is just talking about New Zealand, how billionaires and mega rich people are buying land in New Zealand. They're buying property there and other places around the world. This is Turks and Caicos, and apparently they saw a huge surge more recently as wealthy people are coming in to buy a place that maybe they can get away from what's happening, all the chaos, and so on. So I think it's pretty clear that those with money are buying assets, but let's look at more. America's big business billionaires are buying up lots of land. They go into more details here, but you can see this with land, with real estate, in different places around the world. Take a look at this. Art has become something that despite all the chaos we're seeing up until 2020, very wealthy individuals have been buying things like art. Now there could be different reasons for this, but a lot of the collectibles seem to be doing very well today. On this page here, I'm showing you what's going on with gold, specifically the central bank buying, but we also see the price of gold being elevated right now from where it was at the beginning of the year. The point I'm trying to make here is that assets are being purchased, whether that is land, whether that's gold, whether we're looking at real estate and so on. And why is that the case? Because the central banks have been devaluing the currency. So those with money, those with means have been buying into something that they perceive will hold value or perhaps make money in the end. Those with particular expertise in the stock market may be purchasing in at this time. But like I mentioned, you've got a few of the biggest names in the world today that have been sitting this one out. Doesn't mean they have sold all of their assets. No, not at all. But they don't believe that now is the right time because of how much chaos is in the markets today and of course around the world. Take a look at the economy around the world. What people need is more diversification, more security and safety. And this comes in physical forms, but also with assets too. The one aspect of this and the reason why I mentioned Kiyosaki at the beginning, because nobody really talks about business. And this is where you can get actual real returns. If you look at the stock market, wow, it's fantastic. It gives you 7% 
percent a year on average over the last so many years or is it 10 percent or is it four percent it all depends on how you actually calculate it but it doesn't matter when you look at the returns here you need to be asking yourself if i am after appreciation stocks are really not the way to go I've learned from many different people along the way. Brad Sugars happens to be one. If you're from Australia, maybe you have recognized this gentleman. There's also, of course, Robert Kiyosaki. Personally, what these individuals are about, things they've done, things they've said, doesn't mean anything to me. I just look at the information, I read the books, I take what I want from it, and I use that. What Kiyosaki taught me, especially, was that when you look at a business, it is simply an asset. Money goes in, money comes out. And what you're hoping here is that more money comes out. If I can put a dollar into something and get a dollar ten out or maybe two dollars out, how much money should I put in? Well, of course, I think the answer is as much as I possibly can. Well, this is what we do with business. And there are many different types of businesses today. If you're young or old, there are certainly businesses that could apply to you. Now, for those who are younger, there are so many online businesses today that I'm sure they are using these things, whether it's Amazon or maybe social media or other things, that on a daily basis, they're going on, they're using them. Maybe they're posting on social media, this and that. And instead of just consuming it, instead of just using it, they could be actually making money from it. There's a whole bunch of information that I can go down, but I'm trying to generalize it for this specifically to give people ideas of how to look at investing differently. Businesses today are not like they were even 20 years ago. The startup costs are so small in comparison. No, we're not talking about starting a restaurant or opening a business that has massive inventories, warehousing, staff, and, and accounting and all this. No, 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 not at all. Today, Today, businesses can begin with zero dollars. I know so many people that will drop $20,000 into their retirement account when they could have taken that money and put it somewhere productive. Imagine a business that gives you a return on your investment, not just one time, but over and over and over and over again. Kiyosaki talks about the infinite return. If you put something in, let's say it was $100, you get your hundred dollars back you take it out now that's an infinite return because it simply rides on its own that's the way it works with businesses of course you can do this you can do this many many times over you don't have to necessarily pull the money out but a hundred percent return on investment shouldn't be something that people jump up and down for and they cheer i think it's ridiculous i get laughed at in comment sections and all over the place oh i made 14 percent and you made nothing as if they know what i'm doing the stock market i believe is for people who really really know what they're doing who study this on a daily basis right now is an extremely risky time frame instead if you have a skill if you have some sort of talent you should be utilizing that and really profiting from it this can go in any direction i'm just trying to point this out I'm asked about it all the time. I've talked about it in both my books. I have a playlist called How To and Solutions, which I get into some other aspects here. I'm just trying to tell you that there's so much more to investing than, well, am I gonna buy stocks? Am I gonna buy real estate? Well, I can't buy real estate, it's too expensive right now. Oh, I've stayed out of the bull market in stocks. I don't wanna get in, or should I get in because it's just gonna go off forever because the Federal Reserve is gonna print? Or do I buy gold? Where do I put it? I'm just gonna buy paper gold. All of these questions here are really ignoring what the richest of the rich people are doing. All of them, all of them, they don't personally do anything with their money. They have a corporation. When you have a corporation, everything is different. The liability is different. It's not on you anymore. Everything that they purchase is suddenly a business expense. So you're reducing your taxable income. Look at what Kushner did with the real estate he owned. Didn't have to pay taxes. Didn't have to 
to pay taxes because of the loopholes that are legally there in the system allowing you to write off depreciation. Can you do that with stocks? I don't think so. There's so much more to this. I would love to go into it more in detail. I'm sure that not many people will appreciate this video, but I did it anyway, hoping that, you know, probably if 3,000 people or so are going to watch it, who knows? Let me know what you think in the comments regardless. I appreciate it if you have watched this far into it. If you want to give me a thumbs up, please do. If you want to give me a thumbs down, you can do that as well. Both of those do support the channel, so thank you. If you want to check me out on Instagram and Twitter, you can do so at the Money GPS. If you want to learn how to sell stuff online, if you want to understand e-commerce, I have a free e-course for you at the AmazonGPS.com. If you are interested in the financial system, well, then these two books have everything you need to know. I really get into more depth about the subjects that we're talking today. This was just a rant, but I hope you appreciated it. More info in here in the link in the description. If you want the audiobook, themoneygps.com. If you want the how-to and solutions, this playlist right here is going to get into some of that detail. Definitely check it out. Click it. I'll see you there.